heaven's sake. How could they have thought that? Well, I have a, um, I have a tool that I can deal with that. It's called jury notwithstanding the verdict, judgment notwithstanding the verdict. I can say there is no possible way that a reasonable jury would have reached that conclusion. I'm following law, I'm, I'm an impartial referee, but it's hard to factor out my own emotions. All right, here with reaction, uh, former, President, uh, pre former President Trump's legal spokesperson, Alina Haba, is with us. All right, Alina, first of all, the guy is dead wrong, and you brought it up in court today on the issue of valuation of Mar-a-Lago. Okay, it's anywhere between a half a billion and a billion dollars. What part of, of this does he not understand, even though the assessor has told him that he should not, you know, uh, juxtapose the two or si think they're similar? Yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head there, Sean. The reality of the situation is that the appellate division got it right. We have a judge that has mentioned in his order, frankly, not happy with himself at this point, that the tax assessment of a given property of $18 million is absolutely not correct, given that the fair market value of somebody which would pay for Mar-a-Lago over a billion, 1.5 billion in fact, should be completely disregarded. So you go to a tax assessor and you say, my property is worth X, that's what I should pay tax on. It's not gonna be the fair market value, it never is the fair market value. Anybody that's gone to a tax assessor knows that. In fact, the Palm Beach Tax Assessment Department, the authorities there put out a statement yesterday while we were in court saying, what they're saying is right. This is the tax assessed value. This is not the fair market value. You're conflating the two issues. It's and ridiculous. that's been our point all the time. Let me ask you, I have a copy in my hands of the, the disclaimers that the Trump Organization provided to banks. I'll read just a little of it. Uh, considerable judgment is necessary to interpret market data and develop the related estimates of current value. Accordingly, the estimates presented herein are not necessarily indicative of the amounts that could be realized upon the disposition of the assets or payment of related liabilities. The use of different market assumptions and or estimate methodologies uh, estimation and methodologies may have a material effect on the estimated current value amounts because of the significance, et cetera, et cetera. You are putting the burden where it belongs. You're saying, do not trust our valuations. They can fluctuate and vary dramatically. It, it, there is a fiduciary responsibility of every lender. They're not going to listen to the person that wants to borrow the money and what they say their property is worth if they're putting it up as collateral. They have to do their own assessment. They have to get their own appraisals, or otherwise they're not doing their job. That's not, to me, it's an irrelevant issue, whatever was put in these financial disclosure form, forms. Exactly, Sean, and let me just be very clear on this. This disclaimer, as President Trump calls it, a worthless clause, which I love that saying because I think it says it all. This is a compilation. We never said it was an audited record. It is a compilation of his assessed values as a real estate. He is real estate. He's Trump, first of all. Secondly, if you put your house on Trulia right now under New York State Attorney General Letitia James for a million and it sells for $800,000, you're in big trouble, folks. And they're going to come after you because that's not fair and they'll disgorge your profits. That's what this case is, and it's not right. It's not right. And this judge is a nut. You know, I've been saying, I don't think the president... Thank you for watching. Thank New you, York. Patriots. I don't think he can get God a bless. fair trial in D.C. We'll see you tomorrow with more. I don't think he's got a fair trial in Fulton County, Georgia. So, uh, you know... And Please then, subscribe, so we'll Patriots. The trial and probably guilty verdicts We're building the channel year. little by little. And then meanwhile, where he'd have a far better chance on appeal... Remember, you, we can make a election. difference. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like uh, uh Election interference. That's what That's that what sounds, it sounds like, like to me. The only way to make yeah. a difference right, is Lena, to vote them you. out. When we come back, Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty to gun charges today. Really? Subscribe. And now he